Good morning, everyone. Another gorgeous day. Uh, we're supposed to have some thunderstorms coming through. And the thunderstorms here are amazing. Wild. <laughs> yeah, they can be wild. <coughs> oh, I hear the dogs. They're already running out there. It's so cute to see in the morning when I open the doors and they're all, they don't even want to have breakfast, right? Sometimes I make them eat anyway, just so that they come home sooner or, or what, 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 wouldn't it be the other way, you know? No, I don't know if, if, uh, uh, anyway, it's, it's a, you can't, whatever they get into out there or doing, uh, it's their thing, and they when they when they leave, when I let them out the back door over here, all three of them, right? It's just yeah, yeah. Jake's all like, yo, let's go, guys, let's go. Boys, like, okay, calm down, you know, takes the lead, and and Gus just kind of, you know, so excited to run, just now he nips at the, at always Jake's hind legs, you know. <laughs> And then they go all like, well, hey, there's a there's a trail that leads up the hill, and they all go in a in a in a you know behind each other up the trail. First Bo, then Jake, then Gus. It's always the same. Oh, and off they are. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. What a life. Mm. Wonderful. Let's get going. Cause I gotta go to the farm. I gotta go to the barn and then continue in the garage. I'm on a roll. Yes. <laughs> I'm always the best on a roll when there's nobody here. <laughs> because nobody can tell you, yeah, but da, da, da. you can just huh, do your thing, right? Yes, yeah. Well, anyway, I do ask. I always ask the people for this or that opinions or, well, you know, is it okay to do it? Like, if somehow they're involved in that, what I'm doing. Somehow. <laughs> so we're in 2 Samuel 6. The Ark in Jerusalem. Oh. Well. 2 Samuel 6. David again mustered all the picked troops of Israel, 30,000 men, setting off with the whole force then with him. David went to Bala of Judah, from there to bring up the Ark of God, who bears the title Yahweh Sabaoth, enthroned on the winged creatures. Oh. Yahweh Sabaoth. Interesting. They transported the Ark of God on a new cart and brought it out of Abinadab's house, which is on the hill. Usa and Ahio, the sons of Abinadab, drove the cart. Usa walked alongside the Ark of God, and Ahio went in front. David and the whole house of Israel danced before Yahweh with all their might, singing to the accompaniment of harps, lyres, tambourines, sistrums, and cymbals. When they came to Nakon's threshing floor, Usa reached his hand out to the Ark of God and steadied it as the oxen were making it tilt. Oh, the next part says, This roused Yahweh's anger against Utsa, and for this crime, God struck him down on the spot, and there he died beside the Ark of God. What? Ah, father, you were a... What? He was trying to keep the Ark of the Covenant from slipping off the cart. And you're going to kill someone over that? No. Oh, Father says he didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> David resented Yahweh's having broken out against Uzzah, and the place was given the name Perez Uzzah. 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 Which it is still, which it is still has today. 
which it still has today. Oh my gosh, I can't read a sentence. Oh my gosh, this is like what? That's a odd. Huh? <laughs> <coughs> here uh, I'm just uh, can you imagine this scene so the arc finally is going back to where well, how was it kept at Abhinadab's house right yes Abhinadab's what, what was it uh, what's his name sorry Abhinadab I said it right and uh, yeah, and now he, it's it's ready to go somewhere else again mm, okay I wonder why Saul never, in a way, took care of that. Well, like, again, it's what is it? And here, amongst the, the jubilee, right, of, of getting the ark back out to who knows where, I guess to David's city, right? Yes. Uh, this happens? That's an odd one. It, I have no idea what that all. Right? Okay, well, it's the why was that named, right? That place named after one of Abinab's sons, right? Yes. So that's the explanation. It could have well been that yeah, they got somewhere where something happened, and he got right? the ark did slide off and killed him, right? Because it, something just happened; it wasn't secured properly. Gosh, didn't they know how to do that in those days? I don't know. Well, anyway, but they're making this into this odd story of how would that rouse God's anger? How would that? Because he touched the ark. What? Come on now. You can't tell me that they didn't touch that ark before at their house or something. I mean, come on. And it had to be put on the cart. Who touched it? Oh, what they had dumb sticks to do that with, right? To carry the ark. Okay, come on now. How would that make God angry? That, that doesn't make any sense. And then David gets mad at God because, hey, you could have done something. Why did he have to die, right? It was David. Okay, just say, oh, this is a weird one. <laughs> That day, David felt afraid of Yahweh. Whoa, 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 whoa. He had no, wasn't afraid to resent him, according to the story. <clears throat> How can the Ark of Yahweh come to be with me, he said. So David decided not to take the Ark of Yahweh with him into the city of David, but diverted it to the house of Abed-Edom of Gat. Oh, well, Interesting. The Ark of Yahweh remained in the house of Obed-Edom of Gat for three months, and Yahweh blessed Obed-Edom and his whole family. David suddenly, what, felt that because somebody died on that trip, right, that, the, what, the Ark wasn't a promise anymore. The Ark wasn't a blessing anymore. Didn't want to take it with him. He was afraid of it. David just made the Ark into a curse. Huh? That's what he did. Yet it says, wherever it ended up, people were blessed. Hmm, interesting. King David was informed that Yahweh had blessed Obed-Edom's family and everything belonging to him on account of the Ark of God. David accordingly went and, amid great rejoicing, brought the Ark of God up from Obed-Edom's house to the city of David. Really? 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 When the bearers of the Ark of Yahweh had gone six paces, he sacrificed an ox and a fat sheep. And David danced whirling around before Yahweh with all his might, wearing a linen loincloth. What a show, huh? Hmm. Thus with war cries and blasts on the horn, David and the entire house of Israel brought up the Ark of Yahweh. Now as the Ark of Yahweh entered the city of David, Michal, daughter of Saul, was watching from the window, and when she saw King David leaping and whirling around before Yahweh, the sight of him filled her with contempt. Oh! They brought the Ark of Yahweh in and put it in position inside the tent which David had erected for it. 
and David presented burnt offerings and communion sacrifices in Yahweh's presence. And when David had finished presenting burnt offerings, he blessed the people in the name of Yahweh Sabaoth. To all the people, to the whole multitude of Israelites, men and women, he then distributed to each a loaf of bread, a portion of dates and a raisin cake. Then the people all went to their homes. As David was coming back to bless his household, Michal, daughter of Saul, came out to meet him. Much honored the king of Israel has won today, she said. Making an exhibition of himself under the eyes of his servant mates. Making an exhi expi exhibition of himself like a buffoon. I absolutely agree. Yep, this little girl was not dumb. Besides, David replied to Michal, I was dancing for Yahweh, not for them. As Yahweh lives, who chose me in, uh -huh, in preference to your father and his whole family to make me leader of Israel. Yahweh's people, I shall dance before Yahweh and lower myself in a further than that. In your eyes I may be base, but by the maids you speak of, by them I shall be held in honor. Well, we know how he kind of maneuvers there. And to the day of her death, Michal, daughter of Saul, had no children. Uh, oh, I wouldn't want no children by that dude either. Oh, Daniela. Well, it's true. God Almighty, ich. Where has it all been? And besides that, again, right? I'm sure as a woman at that time, you had very little to say when her father decided that, yeah, I'm going to give me call to David. And then uh, when things started to happen, well, David, first of all, so sounds to me like abandoned me call. And then she was married again to somebody else that they seemed to be really happy together, right? Yes, well, we, we've heard that her husband, her second husband, cried while accompanying her part of the way where she was taken to David again because he wanted her again. Right? Yes? Hmm. Well, then she's just a resentful... Really? I just read this, okay? I just read this to you all. Can you really, with a, with a clear conscience, say that she, what she said, the couple of sentences she said, weren't right and since David already had all them women and probably more God Almighty okay I have, I have it's it, it one would wonder if not every maid yeah, as well okay all right all right all right and uh well, David had no need to go and lay with a woman that yep he clearly now realizes doesn't like him and it's kind of laughing at him. So, the reason she had no children, and sounds like with whomever she was, with whomever she was with, or whose husband, uh, uh, whose, whose wife she was, she was faithful. All right? Yeah. Well, anyway. Probably stayed out of the way. Well, here we go. Wow. Ugh. Sometimes I wonder why yeah, uh, the people so hold on to the Old Testament with this fervor of, of uh, oh, and that, that's, that's how it all went. And that is how God showed favor and this favor. That's basically what it is about, isn't it? Not realizing yeah, how the behavior of these first two kings, for example, and before that of the Israelites, especially the elders and the, yeah, even the Le 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 Levites, right? Levites. Levites? Levites. Now I can't remember which one it is again. Oh, why do I have such a hard time with that? I need to go and check it out. Though. How, do I, how do you say that? <laughs> all their agendas and machinations to, you know, it's all within the ranks. There's, yeah, it mentions, oh, he gave the all the Israelites, right, a loaf of bread, this, that, 
What a bag, I bet you like, that dude was rich by now, right? Lots of money, this and that, you know, like what? People can't make their own cakes at home and bread, this and that. But, well, it was specially blessed by God. It says it was blessed by David. Oh. All right, well, whatever. And then he tests out. Oh, let's see how badly cursed this ark is now, right? Can I trust it? And gives it first to another family to see if they would fare well. Wow. <laughs> that is not right, guys. This is absolutely not right. Well, anyway. Have to give it to me, call. Yeah, just reading, even before she, I had exactly the same thoughts going through my mind. Wow, look at the spectacle he's making. For whom? Uh, he said, no, it was, nobody can. Right? How are you going to prove he didn't? He did one or the other. But, as I said, we've got stories beforehand on how he kind of did things. And, uh, yes, uh, it seems to me that in David's life, God came in handy when God came in handy. But was God really, truly uh, guiding David? Did David accept God's guidance? David absolutely just used God. Absolutely just used God. And it worked, didn't it? It worked. with the people. It definitely worked. That's it. It brings me back again to uh, what I thought about this morning. But I got to go to the barn. Guys, I don't, I can't, I don't have time for that right now. And when I thought on mentioning that on here, I thought, wait a minute, we're going to get to that in the New Testament. I got to have something to say there too. <laughs> yeah, it's spirit world kind of comes to <laughs> I don't think you'll be short of words, no matter what. Ah. So I will just say this. How easily are people misled? How easily are they misled? Hmm? At Jesus' time. Uh, no matter how many high priests there would have been or elders that despised Jesus for his new stuff, right? Bringing new ideas, this and that, right? Really just focusing on what? His Father in Heaven. And admonishing the high priestness for all what they've been doing to just get rich themselves, right? Yes, using God. <clears throat> if the people of Israel would have really found to the heart of Jesus, they would have never shouted Barabbas. But they didn't. Because but then, mm, they were well controlled, right? Yes? Yeah. And let a good man die. On the cross. Well. <clears throat> I've wondered. <clears throat> See, I'm, do I'm doing it. See? I've wondered. Why? Why did Jesus give up? He could have just continued on anyway. Well, because they were coming for him. But he could have just left, right? And he knew. He knew it was going to happen. We know that because of the Last Supper. So he knew that even before that, he knew something was... It, God and Jesus, God had given up in a way. He said, we got to, it's not working. It won't work. Jesus had to listen to his Father in heaven. You're going to have to go that other way now. You're going to have to go the way of the cross. There is no other way anymore. The people have no faith. 
they're not going to show anything. I came to that realization because I've tried really hard to teach in this one group, but just try to kind of just bring some reason into all these conspiracy things and this and that, and I don't know what. <laughs> and uh, I think, just go and read up on the truth on your own, you know. Don't listen to everybody else out there. And get your heart to mind and your conscience in the right place. And it's, there is no reasoning with some people. And they're dominating that group. And it's, it's, it, I, all one can do is just step back and say, I, I, I'm not going to repeat myself over and over and over again, or being pulled into then into some kind of a power struggle. All I wanted to do was just teach in that group. But people were making the same mistakes again, the same ones. Like at Jesus' time, does God have to step back again, even today? And say, it's not working. Right? Or, now, right? we're not just, it's not just a nation that is involved, like at Jesus' time. Now, the whole world is involved. And I've said this before, there are enough pockets in the world where God truly exists. God truly can exist on earth. And that's an amazing thing. And I think those people are not going to just be overruled or controlled by others who so vehemently are against his restoration plan. Yes, his love for mankind. Good God bless. So, I've got to go with that, right? Yes, and prayers. Prayers are always appreciated by Spirit of World. Yes, and again, listen to God a bit more, right? Yes, listen, ask. You know when you are getting an answer. A response from God. You know it. You know when it is true. If you believe. If you truly believe. That God is nothing but goodness. Just goodness. That's it. Then the answer you get back. Is guided by goodness. It's all about goodness. And will steer you in the right direction to deal with certain problems. Yes, conflict, this and that. Yes, and yes, most of the time, it's not to our benefit. <laughs> so, right, Father? It says, you want to hear what he just said to me? My darling daughter, you're so precious to me. Yes, see. Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, so there it is. Barn time. <clears throat> I have got to get out there one more time with the weed eater and weedy, 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 weedy. I gotta, 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 gotta. I gotta. I got to. I got to. I want to work in the garage. I need to weed eat one more time. There are some uh, things I need to do in the garden. Oh, I, last thing. Aw. So, last thing uh, is about my garden here and uh, what I still collected uh, yesterday on goodies out there. And Spiracy, it's not just all about us. We want you to tell your... Uh, it's, it's, it's like, aw, oh, you guys. Uh, uh, that's it. Give and take with spirit world on the side of goodness. It is the most wonderful thing that you can ever experience. 
through all the ups and downs, left and right, this and that, I don't know what, right? They're always there for you, as you are there for them. It's an amazing way to live on Earth. That's all I can tell you. It's an amazing way to live. So I went out, I collected some ginger. There was one root that was completely out. I'm going, oh, I'm just thinking that <clears throat> because I was out. And Cece is sick, so I made her some uh, ginger soup. Yes, yeah, uh, lots of ginger in it. She liked it. And she's not. She went to work anyway. And uh, and then I had some more long beans. Yes. Chinese long beans. Mm -mm. They are delicious. And what else did I collect? I collected something else. Some more okra. Yes. Okra, ginger, and green beans. That's what I collected yesterday. Made me a good meal with all that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and I baked a chocolate cake. I had some chocolate chips. I knew I had to use them. And I don't bake a whole lot of sweets. Every once in a while. And a couple of days ago, I thought, ugh, I want some chocolate cake. I want a really good chocolate cake. What do I got for that? And yesterday I made it in the evening. And it came out really, really good. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not a big fan of icing or anything. I just make the cake and eat it as it is. Yes, yeah. Put some nuts in it. That's my favorite thing. And, oh, I had a can of cranberry jelly. And I don't know what to do with that. That's not. I make my own cranberry sauce for uh, for uh, Thanksgiving, right? With fresh cranberry stuff. So stuff like this comes into our house, and it just sits there and sits there for years sometimes. <laughs> and yesterday I came across that can. I'm going, ha! I'm gonna stick you into my chocolate cake, and it's delicious. It was delicious. It is delicious. So. Who needs to cook? I mean, you can eat chocolate cake all day. Right, guys? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> I better not. <laughs> I'll turn into a diabetic or something. Nah. <clears throat> so there it is. Now I've got things to do. Got to go. Right. Yes? God's love and blessings always. May he protect you. And I will talk to y'all another time.